But what did I do over a decade later after I was divorced? I went back to him. And my man and my brothers was not lying. A lot of these dudes do not want to be your friend. They want to be the next in line. <laughs> he just went, why would any man want a challenge in their relationship? He doesn't need to see you level up. He needs to feel like you're the one that got away. These women actually got with these guys and showed that they want to be with them. He out there doing it. He got a son. Hey guys, welcome back to Mortal Life. Before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Also, smash that notification bell just to be sure you get all my videos as soon as I release them. Let's get right into this. I got dumped by the same guy two times in a 20 year period. I started dating him when I was younger. I was new to a city and I just thought he was absolutely amazing. He was about 11 years older than me and he just seemed to have it all together. And he was teaching me all sorts of things, the right wines to drink, the right books to read, the right art to look at, the right places to travel. I started dating him and he was wonderful at first, but then unbeknownst to me, he wasn't the kind of guy that was willing to make a commitment. And he wasn't the kind of guy that had a commitment before me. I didn't see that as a sign. We dated on and off probably for about six years living in different cities. You know, he was that one guy that you always go back to again and again, and that you always make excuses for again and again. So after six years of back and forth, he finally dumped me and I was heartbroken. But what did I do over a decade later after I was divorced? I went back to him. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. I don't know if it was familiarity, just comfortable, somebody I knew, or that I thought I was really in love with him, but that's what I did. I learned the hard way. He was the same guy who left me the first time. Real love is not supposed to be about game playing and about one-upsmanship and about having somebody chase you all the time. It's supposed to make you feel good and confident and everybody wants to be there. And I share the story so you know you cannot change a person no matter how hard you try. People are not getting that. You're getting that you're... You were a victim then, you got married, took a man for everything, and then you're a victim now. <laughs> I mean, that's just facts. Today, and I was running some errands and getting stuff done. Three different guys tried to talk to me. The first guy tried to talk to me when I was walking downtown in my city. And he turned around and he asked me, do you have a boyfriend? And I said, yes, I do. In fact, I have a husband. And he said, oh, okay. Then he walked away. He turned back around and then he came back and he said, you want to be friends? The second guy, as I was in the grocery store, he walked up to me. He asked me for my number and I told him, no, I have somebody that I'm with. Then he comes, oops, my bad. But then he comes back and asks, can we be friends? The third guy, I went into Walmart this time. And he had a little buggy with his grandpa. And now his grandpa was riding around the buggy. So I made a joke and I was like, all right now, if you hit me, I'm going to sue you. And so his grandpa laughed and he tried to talk to me. And then he asked me, do I got a man? I said, yes, I have a man. He was like, well, shoot, how about you give me a shot? I told him, I just told you I got a man. Then he turned around and he asked, you can't have friends? And I just came to the conclusion that my daddy and my man and my brothers was not lying. A lot of these dudes, and I'm not going to say all of them because I don't want to categorize. A lot of these dudes do not want to be your friend. They want to be the next in line. <laughs> I told you I had a partner. Shoo, I told you I was married. And you told me something, can we be friends? So I asked one of the guys and I said, well, if I was your girl, would you... Would you want your girl to have friends like this? And he told me so long as she ain't it for you. But you trying to do me. I don't know, y'all. But what I'm saying is a lot of these dudes do not want to be just friends. A lot of these dudes wants to be second option, second place. And they don't mind unless they get some cookie. So they don't mind you putting in the friend zone as a holding section. As long as they are in the line. So no, we cannot be friends. <laughs> she finally gets it. After all these years, how old is she? Probably pushing towards 30. You finally get men don't want to be friends.
I know a lot of guys do that. I'm married, of course, but even when I wasn't married, I can't be the placeholder guy. But women will put a guy there and they use them as backup. And that's why men don't, that's why men hate it. Men tell women all the time, no, why you have no friend. Actually, I would have wouldn't have had dated a woman that had a male friend because I already know he's a backup, right? Women stack them up, even flirt with some of them. Just to have them lingering and ready, sitting and waiting, hot and ready. They call them hot and ready, hot pockets. Women keep hot pockets in the backup and don't get with a woman that has hot pockets. It's not good for their health. <laughs> hey, yo, you know, there's a lot of women on the internet that always talk about what a man is, what he's not. A man out here, like, they are strong, but even strong men, like, we struggle because we have regrets. But a lot of us just don't quit. We do it hard. We do it with our chin up and chest out. Even on days when we don't feel like doing something, get stronger. We embrace those struggles and get wiser. Those setbacks become comebacks. And that life is not perfect. We understand this, but our only goal is to make our tomorrows better than our today. I feel like nobody hears us men. Nobody hears the silent cry. Nobody hears the silent battles. This world makes our voice seem not important. As a woman, she may have to lead with that. Leadership is fluid. Are you of a strong woman? All right. We're just so used to being quit on or being used by the weak ones. We're only just trying to find our way, just like you. We need your active support. We need your prayers. We need your loyalty. When a woman learn how to be a man, when she can ask him about how he's doing before she gets into what she wants from him. And that's what guys want, right? A guy wants a woman to be his peace. Like, why do you think guys are uprooting themselves and placing themselves in other places? Because... Most women have decided, look, I'm not going to be a man's piece. And they act. There's a lot of actors out there. They'll act. They'll even be a woman that will get on social media and speak on behalf of men, right? May not mean it at first, but then still will carry on or will do it just for a chat. I mean, it's getting wild. Some some women do anything that pleases the eye. Well, look out for those, man. You got to be careful because those women that do things that please the eye, whoo, they do you dirty in the long run. Two, three years later, you're like, I didn't know I was with this person. Look out for that, y'all. That's hard. Bro, I ain't no dumb kid. In my mind, it's like, I know he's my stepdad. Right. While we're driving to the field. Right. I know he's my stepdad, but he's doing it anyway. Mm. I know he's my stepdad, but he picked me up from school. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But he bringing me to the doctor. I broke my toe. He brought me to the doctor. Like, right. you ain't got to do this. Mm. I am not your responsibility. Mm. But by him showing me that, it's like, when I met her, I fell in love with her. Right. I like her. Right, right. Whatever she come with, that don't bother me. Mm. She needs guidance. That don't bother me. No. <laughs> See, this is the sad thing, man. It's extremely sad. You guys already know what I'm about to say. This young guy thinks a guy being a stepdad now, he's about what? Probably 25 going on 30. It's the same as 25, 30 years ago. It's not. It's not, young man. Right? Because a guy will be a stepdad to a woman who doesn't care at all. And also the kids who don't care. You got to be careful out here because you will get burned and he's going to have to get burned to learn, right? He's going to it with the right attitude. I'm not, I'm not telling men not to try. I'm not going to say that. But most men choose not to. The majority of men choose not to play the stepdad role because they've been burnt in the past. I guess they learn, right? Maybe he needs to learn. I dated a professional athlete, good at what he does. There's not a lot of room for emotion to be involved. It's either it's not true or you're going to get your neck broken. He could date whoever he wanted or sleep with whoever he wanted. And we were like arguing about something. And I was like, well, why would you date me? If like, I'm the person you date if you want like a challenge. And he just went, why would any man want a challenge in their relationship? And my point exactly. And that moment was like, oh my God, I thought it was hot to you. I was like, what guys wanted. I thought it was like feisty. Like, I apologize. But especially if you're dating somebody that is high performing in any realm mm. has goals if you're working that hard in the office you really want to come home and be like right there's that to-do list done i wonder what fun when i step through the front door as well that doesn't do it for a man a man wants someone to be his peace 
and we already understand, look, not everything will be peaceful in life, right? Even the relationship. But you know what? Contributing to his peace more, making him feel at ease when he's home, that does wonders for a man. Why? Because then he can think. When a man can't think, he makes unwise decisions. So make it to where that man can come home to you and have clarity. And you can help with his clarity as well, right? Of course, a man doesn't want a woman to be his overall problem solver. But when you get home, you can talk with a woman or she talks with you about certain things. You can voice things to her and she helps out with solutions and, and ways to help you fix that problem. Not every woman has that skill, but if a woman has that, try to figure that out. Figure out how it could be that for a man. Instead of, I want to challenge you to make you feel like you got something you don't have outside. No, a man has nothing but those challenges outside. He doesn't want it at home. I used to be that type of girl that's like, I'm not going to block him. I want him to see me level up and prosper. Hi, my name is Robin and I'm back to stir the pot. Um, he doesn't need to see you level up. He needs to feel like you're the one that got away. And the reason I say this is you got to be the one that got away and stay away. Because your absence is going to make all the difference in his life. And if it's one thing I know about men, if you are that woman that got away from them before they were established and, you know, toxic and, you know, didn't work on themselves, stay that way. Because if you take that man back, they're going to fall right back into those same patterns because they're going to think you're still that same person they had access to before and you're not. But you, they got to keep that illusion in their head because to them, you were everything. But to you, they were not it. So yeah, level up like that. Be the one that got away and stay away and prosper and be happy. Um, love ya. Oh, this woman, it's got to be, she's definitely under 30. She has to be. She's over 30. She has some screws missing because if a man levels up, maybe he's had time to learn from his time away from you, the mistakes he made when he was with you. Yes. I've made some mistakes with exes I've had in the past. That I admit to that, of course, I'm married. But if I was to ever go back, I'll be a completely different person because I am a grown man. But it's different. I'm, I'm 43. You're talking about guys that are a lot younger. But still, same thing. You see a man doing good, give him a shot. Are you crazy? Three dates with me. And here's why. So I'm dating for marriage, like how most people should be dating for the long term, right? I literally tell guys that I'm dating for marriage. They want to change that or they're trying to convince me why I shouldn't, which is the really the funniest thing ever. Because a lot of these guys try to get physical on the first few dates. Like they want to kiss me and like, you know, they were trying to do the most, but I don't kiss guys like that, especially like <laughs> definitely not on the first, second, or third day. It's gonna take a while for me to. Warm. I'm like a, I'm like a K drama romance person, so it takes a while for me to warm up to those things. Like old Ashini would have been like, yes, like been crazy, wilding out, but the new and reinvented Ashini wants something deeper, wants something more meaningful, wants someone to love me for me. And you know, the whole guys wanting to kiss you in the first one, two, three dates, it's just them making those advances, trying to get you to loosen up your boundaries so then they can do more and more and more. And I know the right person for me is going to date me, court me well, and wait as long as it takes for me to feel comfortable and feel that connection in order to share even a kiss with them. Even if it means waiting, Five or ten dates, it doesn't matter. The right person who wants to be with you will show you that. She's sim building. <laughs> She's trying to build losers. Yeah, I knew right away when she said, yeah, the old me. Oh, you're one of those. The old me, right? The old me would have been throwing it back on you in the first two dates. Yes. Now, I'm looking at you. And you look rather fine. So what does that mean? The old you had a lot of suitors. The old you probably had a lot of bodies, which means you're still sort of like the old you, right? 
you still have a lot of trauma because it's hard for you to pair bond. So the first guy that you feel is over the top, Chad. It's not my fault. And that's something guys need to worry about. That's exactly what's happening. Over the top, Chad. I'm talking about the guy that got everything together. The height, the money. Like, like you ever seen those um those gold digger videos? That's over that like that. I'm talking about over the top chat. He's like that with that kind of car and looks to match. I ain't wrong. I'm not wrong. So you gotta ask yourself why guys so worried. That's why. Because over the top Chad got to grab the angles like that. Now this is wild, right? Because. But I, I, I got to post this. I'm going to uh, sign it. The um, You see women say this all the time, right? But I think this is a white woman's channel who's trying to target black men, right? And what are they showing? These women actually got with these guys and showed that they want to be with them. Man. Every video, married. So what is it showing? These brothers obviously want to get married. And who are they marrying? They're marrying the ones that makes their burdens easy. It says marry someone willing to build with you. The burden is easy. No arguments when they get home, right? Not being challenged. As the woman said, yeah, I thought you wanted someone to challenge you. Maybe she learned after that. But these women aren't challenging their men. Because why would a man want a woman to challenge him? Why would a man want a woman to ask him masculine? And started a whole family. He out there doing it. He got a son, a daughter. They, all, they both look like the Chinese girl mixed with him. It's funny. But he went out there. And this brother is... Look like he's from like Africa or something. He could be black, he could be African American, but you know, he may be from Africa. Them African guys are, man, they they going out there going hard. They've been doing it for a while, but he went out there, got a got a Chinese woman, and another woman said, What did she say, y'all? Y'all already know what I'm gonna say. No, no, Xiang Ye. Over 27, unmarried, female. Would you call this lady in China? If women who remain unmarried in their late 20s and 30s, we call them No Sheng Yu for me, no! Sheng Yu, which means leftover women. No Sheng Yu! Right? Because, don't get me wrong, you already see the videos out there where you got some Chinese woman that are just like modern women, right? But then you have some Chinese women who were told lies to. Right, there's Chinese women out there who whose parents, because every parent, every parent is like that. No parent wants to see their kids struggle, so they tell them, "Get the car, get the money, get the job." No man, and <laughs> and what happens is, young you, you hit a certain age, you ain't got a man. They start looking at you, going, mm, it's "Danger," because. It may not work out because I want a woman that's young and ready and hot, and they waste their life away. Now, this shows when a woman doesn't have that that super feminist modern woman attitude. That's when it could work, and that's what he found, right? And some guys would say, "Hey, especially a guy that's mature at a certain age," would say, "I'd give one of those women a chance, right? Like, why not?" Some guys feel like that. Like, why not? She's beautiful, gorgeous. I see her. I, I see her. I like you and I want you. Then it's like, I'll be waste, I'll be actually wasting my time to find someone else when I got this woman right here who's gorgeous and ready to go. And more guys want to find that because they realize it's the way. Your passport, bro. Cash for no. There's definitely more to life. You're getting anything that's not that. So he's coming. 